hard to know who to trust, right? So look, insulin resistance comes from an excess of insulin in your body driven by the foods that you're eating, unmediated by fibers and nutrients that you need to be able to break those down. One of the lies that you've been told is that you need to eat constantly every two hours to keep your metabolism burning high. And that's just not true because every time you eat, it's bumping your insulin up again. Insulin takes hours to come down where blood glucose can come down fairly rapidly. But now you're left with this high insulin and then you're eating again to try and fill that gap, which is just keeping that insulin level high all over again. Intermittent fasting allows those insulin levels to come down and allows your other component called glucagon to come up and help you burn fat for fuel. That's called metabolic flexibility. It's absolutely necessary to be metabolically flexible to become more insulin sensitive. Really, what we're trying to do is let you relieve yourself from the need for insulin so that your body can function more normally. I'll try and do a more complete series on it in a little bit, but metabolic scientists would say that that statement's just not true.